Hands down the most pleasant airport experience. I quite happily let someone shove a stick down my throat if it meant that every airport experience was like that. 40 minutes in the car, strange security, into this place. Thank you, Gnat, much love. Just some sour though, you know. I, I, I could have gone all in, but I'm going out to Fat Mama's tonight in Puerto Bonus and uh, I'm saving my calories for that. Hola, que tal? Welcome to the, welcome to the first of what I hope to be many travel vlogs in 2021. Very lax entering Malaga Airport. No, no PCR test check, just the QR. 139 notes down the drain, but we move. We move. The time is now half past six. We're going for some dinner at about eight o'clock at Fat Mama's. And then Joseph gets here tomorrow. My man, Mr. Brighty. So yeah, enjoy the vlog. Very good night last night. Fat Mama's is, uh, has got to be up there with some of the finest Italian cuisine that I've had. Very nice, if you go into my bar, I would highly recommend it. It's on like a corner. It's a very, very nice vibe. You've got like the mountains on the right hand side, if you're sitting outside. But now it's time for what I've most been looking forward to this trip. The, uh, the, the famous cinnamon roll. I love a cinnamon roll, and you've been cinnamon, like cinnamon cereal, cinnamon oats, and cinnamon rolls. So that's probably the sort of top three cinnamon based foods. Got the new Resolve, the Navy. And then I think Joseph lands in about, well I think Joseph lands now actually. No, he lands in an hour. So I'm gonna get coffee and a cinnamon roll, come back, <coughs> go to uh, Supermercado, get a little bit of food, and then we'll train at about one. I think we're gonna go ultimate performance, maybe. Maybe, because Kara is going. We've gone in for the apple pie. I saw it was apple base and I thought, here we go. I've been looking forward to this for a so thick. Oh my gosh. It's like a perfect combination between an ice bun and a cinnamon roll. Hmm. Food. Sorry, I'm cooking it all. I definitely will have like a bite and then do it. No, don't, because then it forces me to have the, rema yeah. the remaining piece. Is it purposely all lemon flavours? I don't know, I think people have found out about it here. Why is it such a lemon? Let's make it, let's make it, it tastes like lemon. We're in Casa del Mahoney. It's nice in here. With ghost sponsored athlete. How long have we been with Ghost for? I think about two years. Oh, it smells so good. Have you tasted it yet? I haven't tasted it, no. We should do taste it. They just nailed them. Nail branding. Might have to take a scoop of this. What's the uh, focus one like? Um, it's good. I actually prefer that because I just get whacked off the pre-workout for hours. I didn't bring any pre-workout with me. But it's alright. Take it free. Take it with you. We're covered. Hi guys. Super excited that I'm working with Women's Best now. It's been a life... Whoa. I nearly spilled the milk and I nearly spilled the Oreo. It's just like the best cookies and cream and protein that you're going to have, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm. There's little specks of Oreo in there. It's very creamy. Mmm. I have taken some whey protein with me. I've taken the Perform brownie batter. That's a quite a frequently asked question. What do you do with supplements? I just put it in my suitcase. And if I'm taking any, like, 
supplements. I've taken T3, T4 out of me, but I went to Holland and Barrett and bought a small vitamin D Solgar glass bottle, emptied the vitamin D out, put the T3 and T4 in just in case. Do you know what I mean? Hey Ducky, come and say hello Ducky. Me? Come and say hello. Look who it is, all the things slipping. Big Broski came and joined. Hello! <laughs> he heard it was getting a bit tasty out of my base, so you know. Or should I say, hola mi amigos? Like McGregor when Artem Lobo was in a bit of trouble. <laughs> out, comes, well, out comes Brightman. <laughs> Plan of action is we're gonna go and train at uh, Paddle in Marbella. The topless gym. The topless gym? The topless gym. So you did legs yesterday, yeah? I did legs yesterday, yeah. Kind of sets you up for a nice upper body focused couple of sessions in my bar. Typical. And I'm going to breathe tonight for dinner and then it's Linda's birthday so we're going to go to Porta Banus. Come along with us. Come on, come and join us. <laughs> Welcome to the back to the table of discussion. The recap table. Good night last night for Linda's birthday. The dinner at Brie Vaga was that Wagyu burger. Very good. If you're oh, in my bay, I go yes. Brie. The what, what, I mean, you so didn't even give me one of them dim sums. Yeah, <laughs> I was waiting for you to say, do you want one? Yeah, we well, used to have to ask, mate. Nah. It's rude. Yeah, let's have a dim sum. Tom, do you want a dim sum? Tom, have a dim sum, mate. I'll tell you about that. I was sitting there with a goat's cheese salad. Goat's cheese salad's nice, I had caramelised on the top. But we were drinking last night, it was on the whispering. This is, this is the thing with me, if I stick to just one drink, I'm fine. Are you fine? Absolutely. Are you actually? Wow. Too fresh. But it's, wow. bla it's blackout blinds here, which I think helps. But I have. My little stack, you know what, I'm like my stacks. When we got back, 100k on up here, my tax. We got back, I had a big serving of glutathione, 3,000 mega vitamin C, and I had loads of like strawberries antioxidants. And it, and it, like, it, it helps. Whereas this guy. I've got more than a million series. <laughs> Plan of action for today is, me and Joe are gonna go Rose's calf. Get a little egg, get a little pancake. Then we're gonna go and train a, a sub-optimal session. I'm gonna do a little bit of hit actually, because M13's got a salt bike. Come back here, bit of client work, bit of napping. Then we're going plaza, dinner, England game. Big day today. Oh, three lines, mate. Big day today. Wow, three lines. We could be on track for a, a Euro final here. Has that been sliding the whole time I've been talking? So the plan of attack is to consume vasodilating products such as beetroot in order to maintain pump in beach club. There you go, beetroot. Um, <laughs> is that looking at me? Rolls this calf, rolls it. Shut, 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 shut. Oh. How's that? Fucking hell. Gone for a fairly respect, respectable breakfast. <laughs> Joe on the other hand. Are you joking? Nah, yours is alright. Same as yours. Yours is alright. Gracias. Um, you know what you're nah, I just thought it'd be a bit too much on the midsection. Considering that we have a beach club to go to all we have is right now so make the best of it and that is why i say okay cool
Good morning. It is indeed coming home. What a night last night. A very good day as well at uh, the plaza. It's quite a chill vibe there. It's not like your sort of uh, ocean beach vibe. It's just, it's nice though. Good sacks. I'm having a good day today. I've said to myself, I'm gonna not have breakfast. I'm gonna fast until lunch. Lunch is gonna be a basic bit. It's chicken salad. And then we'll go in on dinner. I'm gonna have a good day. Cause I, I, I've looked at, I looked at that picture that me and Joe posted on the first day and I thought, what's happened? I spent the last two days just slowly fading away. Which is probably what you're supposed to do on holiday, but I'm gonna rain it in a little bit today. I had good willpower. I'm back at bread and buns and just got a coffee and not a cinnamon roll. So today is just ab circuit and like a hip. I'm, I'm, I'm very I'm very new to the functional fitness side, so I don't actually know the specific terminology for what I do. So it's just like, I suppose it's a hit circuit. Little assault bike, little ropes, little pull-ups. Try and get a good 350, 400 calories in. Grab some lunch. It's time for lunch. We've got the cherry tib slash brick top slash Edgar Davids slash if you want to continue it, if you want to continue the chain here up in the comment section. Percival, I like this Percival, I like it a little bit more compared to the blue one. I don't, not, don't like that. I know a few of you slagged off the sandals, but don't hate it, appreciate it. They're, they're good, I like them, they're comfortable. I'm gonna try and be healthy today. Well, I say healthy, I mean healthy up until dinner. So I fasted until three, chicken salad, and then a dinner at Jack's. Breaking the fast at 3.30 with a chicken salad and some rice. Jack's tonight, so this is smart. This is a smart food decision. Solomon Boiler Room. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh no, I've got COVID. Bit of Solomon boiler room before uh, we go out. Last night, tonight, I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here. I hope it came out okay. I So basically when I vlog, I have a, the Final Cut Pro timeline ingrained in my head. So I know what scene I'm going to and from and music and B-roll. I have that same mentality when it comes down to a travel vlog, but by day two, it just goes to shit. And I don't know what I'm filming. I don't know what I'm doing. So I hope it came out, it came out okay. It's been nice, well needed and well deserved break. Felt like a, a, a caged animal over the past three weeks. So it's been nice to just come out here, train, eat, and uh, have a good time. It is an amber, so quite a few questions regarding what to do. I had a PCR test 24 hours before I flew. QR code, don't forget that. There's people at Malaga Airport that were getting turned away. Same as when I went to Mykonos, they're like, huh? What's that? Just paid for a test today to enter the UK. And I just paid for a day two, day five, and day eight. The profiteering off this virus is fucking ridiculous, isn't it? Essentially, the day five is like that. It's quick release. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, I am going to go to Jack's Smokehouse tonight. I've had a chicken salad and some rice. That's all I've had. And it's 10 to 8. So, you best believe I'm about to consume around about... 2500 calories and I'm not gonna feel guilty one bit see you very soon I'm sure I'll be back out here in the next couple of weeks it's one of them sort of things I've come out and thought to myself why aren't I here why aren't I living and working here but I suppose it's quite nice to sort of come out here and have a good time and go home which I'm excited to do I'm excited to go back and and start flowing a new business so yeah do you think, is there a way of incorporating that here? I miss home too much. I like my home comforts. And I miss Gunner greatly. Got updates. I got updates from the kennels today and I was like, oh, my boy, my boy. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon. Thank you, Gunner. Much love.